So originally I'd got my tent cot for the obvious reasons. Camping outdoors, sleeping in a cot, because I'm getting older. Yes, it's true, I'm getting older. I don't want to sleep on the ground anymore, so I got a tent cot. But unfortunately with kids, I have not been able to go camping as much as I would like for obvious reasons. But that does not mean that the tent cot is not getting any use because we had another kid. And of course, those two kids do not sleep at the same time. One likes to stay up all night and scream, and the other one likes to get up early and goes to bed a little bit later, which is right about when the three-month-old starts screaming her head off because she's hungry and likes to stay up all night. So I was forced to take drastic measures and set up a cot somewhere else in the house. We don't have an extra bedroom for me. So the cot got set up in the basement. Why not just a cot and a covered cot? Well, because spiders. So for all of you people out there that have extra bedrooms coming out the wazoo and a finished gorgeous basement with a very comfortable couch on it, this video is not for you. Congratulations, you can move on. But for guys like me, I set it up. I used a mattress that I bought for the tent cot itself. It is not an inflatable, it is like a foam two inch thick mattress. So on top of that, because this is just for me, I ended up using a pad that I got for after marathon training. Toss that in there with another blanket on top of that. Then the sleeping bag. This is basically what I sleep on. And I thought it would be a little bit uncomfortable, but it turns out it's just a tiny bit less comfortable than my bed. So completely manageable for me for those and a good substitute for me to get some sleep. Now, on the surface, it looks a little heartless that I am leaving the baby with the wife and sleeping elsewhere so that I can be fresh and awake in the morning. This is because I learned very quickly that we cannot both be tired at the same time. So one of us needs to be sleeping. That being said, during the day, she sleeps. Or I should say, she takes naps. I am not allowed to take naps, so I have to get sleep during the day so that I am there for the two-year-old. So for me, it was a quick solution. So of course I ran with it once I had the idea and I put the massage pad in there and I went and I got all the other ones that we had in the house. So if you've watched my channel, you've seen before that I have the foot one. So with the foot one in there, which kind of props up your feet a little bit, no problem because I brought in the pillows that I have that kind of do the kneading also. Those go under the thighs and they bring up the knees just enough so that your feet your knees aren't tweaked too much when your feet are in the, the foot rub thing. And I figured why stop while I'm ahead. So I got the Renpo I thing, put that on. I've got my trusty Teton sleeping bag also for the space. And then my trusty headphones. Good quality headphones are important. And of course, a good audiobook to listen to while I go to sleep. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is a shameless nod to my book. If you would like to check it out, it is in the comments below. I will be the only author to tell you that if you get it on Audible and you do not like it, feel free to return it. But either way, a good book matched with a comfortable bed, matched with all those different massage things. Now, the first time I climbed in here, I felt a little weird, to be honest. But once I got past the weirdness, Honestly, I was out in like three minutes. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have used these before in the past or done anything this crazy for kids. And I will talk to you next time.